All right, Aries, let's get into your reading. Um, your person's overall energy is starting off with new beginning, sacrifice, uh, spiritual union. Uh, then we have obstacles, challenges, triumphant success. And then we do have at the bottom of the deck, prosperity begins, which is like Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like your person is feeling like there's obstacles that need to be overcome, but does feel like there will be victory and success with those. Um, so that way there can be a stable new beginning. There are sacrifices that need to be made, but they also feel like this is a strong spiritual bond, spiritual connection. So let's see what's going on with your person, current energies, current situation. Uh, Aries, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, the bell notification if you'd like to be notified when I upload new content. Um, and every subscriber is much appreciated. All right. So waiting for something. They're waiting. Slow moving. Super slow moving. They're, they're moving in a way, though, where it's like strategic or structured. Um, I do have Virgo energy showing up. But I have victory and success in reverse, and then I have ten of pentacles in reverse. Okay, feeling ignored, rejected, bored for the moon, unknown energy, Cancerian energy. They're holding back right now. Why are they holding back? Drama, arguments. So you guys kind of like no contact or just had like a big argument with each other, and now you're kind of pulled your energy back. They're over here pulling their energy back. They could be trying to come up with some kind of plan on how to approach you or what to say here. Ten of Swords, backstab, betrayal, painful ending. Okay, so something ended here between the two of you. I'm sorry about my dog. Someone keeps walking around the neighborhood with their dog, so she's going bananas. So I apologize. <laughs> Okay, so I have Knight of Wands in reverse, which is Sagittarius energy, but I also take that as like my player energy, chasing after passionate desires and things like that. That's in reverse. So I don't feel like this person is a player. I feel like maybe something happened, which we'll get into, that created a, a really big argument and some kind of ending, backstab, betrayal, painful ending. So let's see, what are the blockages? Feeling stuck in Page of Pentacles. Somebody's feeling stuck or like their, their hands are tied. Something was out of their control or they can't change something. Could have to do with maybe money, finances, or stability. Let's see. Or was this person not able to offer you any kind of stability here? Let's see. Blockages, blockages. Ace of Swords in reverse. So maybe something they weren't truthful with you on, now they want to be truthful. They know that there's a heavy burden here, Scorpio. Was there a Scorpio or a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, that got in the way here? Or are you dealing with a water sign and they're blocking this connection because of maybe they're stuck, stuck in another connection, commitment, marriage, something like that. Ten of Cups is blocked. So that long-term happiness, emotionally fulfilled, that's blocked. Healing is in reverse. I don't know, Aries, I feel like maybe you cut this person off. Maybe they just took something too far and you stood your ground. And you're just... Mm, might be just too late for this person. A decision isn't being made right now, though. So you may just be, again, like you, you're just kind of pulled back, both of you. And reflecting on this, this connection. Let's see, how does this person feel about you, Aries? How do they truly feel about you? Well, they feel like you are emperor energy, which is you. So they feel like you're in the, you're in the power. You have the control here. Um, you're not putting in any work and effort. This is... So this is just how they feel. It may not be the truth, but it's their truth. It's their perception on how they feel about you, their thoughts and feelings. They feel like you're sitting over here as this emperor, male or female, it doesn't matter, right? You're sitting over here as this emperor in your power, in your ego, not in a bad way, just standing your ground, boundaries. 
you're not stressing about it and you're not putting in any work and effort. This is how they, they view you right now. Not caring. How else do they feel about you? Like you just said, you know what? Nope, enough's enough. Bye. And you're just not stressing about it. Uh, there were arguments, drama, disputes, heated arguments over Scorpio. Who is the water sign? <laughs> Strong Scorpio that's blocking this, and now they feel like there was fighting over Scorpionic energy. Oh, here you are. So is this somebody that got in the way? Is this somebody from their past? Who is this Scorpio person? Third party. I don't know. I have Aquarius showing up. They feel like, did you block them? Cut them out, cut them off. See, they want that Ace of Pentacles with you. They want that stable new beginning with you. They want to rebuild with you, work together with you. They know you're, you're unforgiving right now. As you should be. If they stepped out or whoever this Scorpio person is, who, who is this water sign that's getting in the way? Who is this? Are they in a marriage commitment? That's who, who's getting in the way. It's someone that they could be either married to or in a long-term commitment with. Or if it's vice versa, you're in a commitment with this person and this Scorpio got in the way. There's a general reading, can be flip-flopped and reversed. All right. Let's see, what are their intentions with you? Just this person's intentions. Yeah, they want to heal. They want to heal this connection. They know you're ignoring them, though. They they know it. <laughs> that's what's, uh, they know that they were unfair. They know that what they did was not right. But they're, for some reason, they're like ignoring it. They're not facing it. It's almost like they're not fully seeing what they did wrong. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're not fully seeing how you felt. They're not putting themselves in your shoes to see exactly what it is that they did. They could have been breadcrumbing you, giving to two, giving you false hope. See, and it ends. It ends in backstab, betrayal, painful ending and blocking I've been juggling and the, the problem is this is their intentions so their intentions do i feel like they want to make changes uh, i don't i don't feel like this person wants to change their ways here keep in mind you guys it is a general collective reading so it can be flip-flop reversed Take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? Have an open mind. Um, putting, see, this this kind of makes me a little irritated right here. They're feeling like you're pulling their energy back, even though they, they want this new beginning with you, that they feel like you're just, nope, I'm done. So then it's like, oh, all right, I'll put in my work and effort with this water sign or whoever the Scorpio Cancer Pisces is or whoever the, this person is. Could be any sign it doesn't necessarily have to be water but that's what's coming through so now they're like okay i'm just gonna work on that with that person since aries is turning their back on me okay so let's see what's gonna happen what's the outcome what are you gonna do strength confidence courage With three of cups. I do have walking away though. I do feel like this person will walk away from whoever this person is. And be single, solo, independent. So let's see. Divine time. They are walking away from all of that. Let's see. We 
reading for victory and success with you. The problem is, again, I don't think this person can change. I don't think this person can be 100% faithful, honest, truthful, in it to win it. I just feel like this person falls for temptation or doesn't always speak the truth. Aries, you guys are very honest and truthful and forthcoming with things. This person, either you're they're intimidated by you or they're too afraid to tell you the truth, but I, I even feel like some of you, if you do forgive this person, it's, it's probably going to happen again. I just don't see this person being fully honest all the time. I mean, we all have our, our secrets, right? We all have our little things, but this is different. And it could also stem from childhood abandonment by possibly a mother figure with this person. They want to reconcile with you. They do. But it's almost like they're they're screwing up before that. So like instead of trying to make it up to you right now while you're pulling your energy back, they're kind of like, fine, go then. I'm going to go over here with this other person like the grass is greener over here but then soon realize it's not, and they come crawling back to you to reconcile, but are you gonna, are you gonna, is Aries going to, no, I, I just don't, I don't see you doing it, no, nope, unless they truly, truly, truly put in work and effort on themselves about temptation or toxicity or anything, anything that the devil, anything negative, um, could be victim mentality, could be blaming, could be not changing things, whatever, whatever that is to you. Seeing things clearly, changing their perspective and actually putting in work and effort you guys, you want nothing to do with this person. And you're going to stay that way for a while and, until they can show you or you're just going to go about your merry way. All right, let's see. Obstacles. I mean, I'm not here to tell you what to do, Aries, but I can tell you this person right now, I just don't think that they're trustworthy. Obstacles. Projection. See, that could be their toxic thing. They blame you for things that happened in their past. So if they have abandonment issues from childhood, they're the <laughs> they want to leave you before you can leave them so if they feel like things are kind of going downhill in a relationship they'll try to jump ship so that way they're not alone they're not abandoned and they left you first you didn't leave them that kind of a thing so there could be something with projecting when you didn't even do anything you know like you didn't do anything it's just that they're um programming their traumas the burden so overcoming the burden Success. Having success here is an obstacle because somebody's clinging to the past and then change and healing. So, wow. Okay. They got to take a look in the mirror, you know? All right. Truth, confession, clarity, reveal secrets. That's what I was thinking. They may come to you with the truth, but I feel like it's just too late, too little, too late. Third party, interference, cheating, competition, mistress. Regret, mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology, and snake, deception, shady, temptation, enemy. <laughs> it's pretty much what your reading is about uh, this week, Aries. Let's see, what would this person want to say to you if they could? What would they want to say to you if they could? Missing you. I miss you. I wish things were different. Anything else? Showing out. I'm acting like I don't care about what's happened between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. So they could be mirroring you if you're doing that because that's their perception of you. They feel like that's what you're doing. You're acting like you don't care. So they could be doing the same, but they do. They care. You do too, but oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, Aries, one more message. What would this person like to say to you? 
You're so special. You're truly divine. I never felt energy like this before and I can't get enough and I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. So this person does want to make changes for, for some of you. Some of you, this person may actually want to make changes. Some of you, they, they don't, but is it too little too late? Can you trust that they're going to make changes? It's one of those things. It's like, I'm working hard. I'm making changes. But then are they going to have resentment against you and point the finger at you and project that on you? I made all these changes and sacrifices for you and you're still not happy or you know what I'm saying? Like, is there going to be some kind of blame game towards you because they're trying to make changes? Um, do I feel like they're going to stick to these changes? It's a little rocky because it does look like maybe they go back to their old ways. So I can't tell you what to do, Aries. The decision is yours. Um, follow your intuition on that. All right, let's get some letters, names. Uh, it could be first, middle, last name, initial, or spell a word, spell something of significance. Take you how it resonates. L-V-T-O-W-H-M-U-P. So L-V-T-O-W-H-M-U-P. All right. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with. Keep in mind it could be anybody. Um, all right. We have Capricorn, Leo, Virgo, and Sagittarius. Capricorn, Leo, Virgo, and Sagittarius. Scorpio also came in hot quite, quite a bit during this reading. So... All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, uh, number of significance, date of significance. We have 4, 5, 8, and 12, or 45, 48, 54, 58, and 12. Um, so 4, 5, 8, 12 for numbers. All right, um, Aries, that is what I have for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, send me lots of love and light.